the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in it. Dear Mama Me, <laughs> in your last letter, you ask I should write to you more about the America. Well, if there's a one way I'm going to surely describe him, it's to say he's always in a hurry. Even if he's got a nothing to do, he's the one to do it before everybody else. <laughs> And this is a make him act very strange. Yesterday, man is run over to me in the street and he's a yell, you got the time? Before I'm a got to my watch out of my pocket, he's a bought a paper, dropped his a change, he jumped on a bus and I hollered, thanks. <laughs> thanks for what? Funny thing, it's a making me act just as a crazy. He's holler, thanks, and I'm a holler, you welcome. <laughs> There's nowhere in the world I'ma see such a rush. In the morning is a race to the subway, then a race to work, a race to lunch, a race back to work. A race to the subway, a race to home. And on a Saturday, when everybody should be nice and arrested, is a big race to the doctor. <laughs> Mamma mia, you ever see a horse race? Well, in Chicago, is a people's race. Only sometimes when I'm watching the people, I'm thinking the horse knows more of what they're doing. <laughs> also, you ask me if the people they're friendly here. How many friends am I got? Well, mamma mia, Chicago is not like our little town in Italy, Castellamare, where everybody else is called me by his first name. In Castellamare, everybody's called me Luigi. Over here, I'm just a plain, hey, you. <laughs> I think, I think the reason I'm, I'm right to you so much like this, mamma mia, is, is it because today I'm feel very lonely and I'm a miss you. But maybe I'm a think too much about it. So I'm a better go off to my night school class. There with all of the questions and the answers are flying around, I'm a gonna forget to my trouble. <laughs> well, class, can anybody answer the questions? Who said give me liberty or give me death, Mr. Horowitz? No, it wasn't Horowitz. <laughs> Please, Mr. Schultz. Well, Mr. Horowitz, who said, give me liberty or give me death? Mm. And I studied my lesson so hard last night. I even kept my little boy Seymour. He should help me. Was it Thomas Jefferson? No. Alexander Hamilton? Mm -mm. Samuel Adams? Paul Revere? George... Horowitz, please leave somebody to start the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fellow no. boobers. You can have liberty or death. Just give me a smile. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz, there'll be enough out of you. Mr. Basco, you may answer the question. Miss Bollinger, please excuse me. You mind it to repeat it? I was not listening before. Oh, Mr. Basco, evidently your mind isn't on your work today. Yes. Uh, Miss Balding, I have been quietly sitting back and noticing the lack of attention my colleagues pay to their studies. Fortunately, I remain as a shining example that your efforts are bearing fruit. And I will be real glad to answer the question. Well, listen to him, the mental giant with the pygmy personality. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, class, I I'm really very disappointed in you today. I don't... Mr. Basco, you're still not paying any attention. Excuse me, Miss Pauling. I'm trying very hard tonight, but... Uh, Luigi, is something wrong? You, you look a little pale. Maybe you're not eating right, Luigi. You know what they say? We are what we eat. Himmel, what must I look like? I had a hamburger for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel well, Mr. Basco? I'm sorry I didn't know that. No, no, no. 
Thank you, class. But is it not the food that bothers me? Is it well? Well, I'm ashamed to say, but but I'm starting to feel a little lonesome. Oh, oh that's oh, Luigi. Poor Luigi. It's sure. almost two years since you saw your mama. Hmm? Yeah. Sure, bear jump in here, many. I know just how it feels, Luigi. <laughs> Yo, when I first came over, before I had enough money to send for my family, sometimes I too felt lonesome. You know, there must be many ways of meeting people, Mr. Basco. Why don't you join some social group or dancing club? Yeah, that's a good idea. After all, you know, the toughest thing is to be a bachelor. I remember how it feels to go home alone every night and sit and look at four walls. Your mm, oh, that, that's different if you're married. Sure, now I got three rooms and I come home, my wife runs out to play canazza, and I sit and look at the twelve walls. <laughs> My Luigi, you are not so bad off. <laughs> no, maybe I'm not. <laughs> we are yeah. a big help. Luigi, I would gladly ask you to come home with me. But it so happens that tonight I got to run right to my meeting. You know, the Odessa Young Men's Benevolent Society. I'm the president and no, you No, 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 thank you. Thank you, Horowitz, but I'm a no baby. I'm... Luigi, you know I go to work after class. I if you want to help me deliver the milk. Well, it's a very nice of you, Olsen. No, I think I go home to sleep. Ach, Luigi, you know I would say come and sleep with me and my happy little family. But it so happens my apartment is being painted. Oh. You see, there's ten in the family and we got it exactly ten paintbrushes. <laughs> Himmel, there must be something you can do. Mr. Basco, what about Rosa? Miss Spalding, he may be alone, but he don't want to be with a crowd. <laughs> And not tonight I'm even willing to go out with the rush. Well, that can easily be arranged, Luigi. You hold your stop a gentle hint to Pasquale. Yeah, like just letting him see you. Yeah, that's it, Luigi Rosa. Your troubles are over. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we all get it a little moody sometimes, but like we say in the delicatessen business, don't worry. The things that look darkest today, tomorrow we cover up with a little mayonnaise. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. I'm, I'm just got a back of Don't nice... talk so much. I'm trying to think. Huh? <laughs> hey, hey, what, what are you doing to the spaghetti palace? Moving things around like Please, you... please, shut up. All right. Now, let me see. Uh, I think I'm going to change your breadsticks. These look too nibbled on. Pasquale, I... And uh, this little table, I'm going to put in there the cash register. Oh. In case anybody tries to sneak out without a pay, and I got to be trapped. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very funny. That's a very... I got it. I know. I'm going to take off the old wallpaper and hang up a lot of pictures about the desert. Uh, that's gonna make the customers thirsty and they're gonna order more wine. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, Pasquale. Also, you could... Please, please, I'm a consecrating. All right. <laughs> now, uh, I'm gonna take the electric bulbs away from the tables and I'm gonna put the candles. That's to give it a place a fine atmosphere is to cut down my electric bill. <laughs> hey, Pasquale, I'm a good idea for you. Nobody's asking you. Oh. Now, should I get a new chair to... Now I put the slip covers on the old slip covers. <laughs> yeah, my ashtrays is almost all stolen. Better make a trip to some hotel lobbies and get us some more. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna print up a book of matches. Yeah, eat to the Pasquale's of Spaghetti Palace at 23 North the Holstead Street. Our specially low prices, <laughs> special family rates if you all come together. Yeah, that sounds good, Pasquale. Luigi, Maybe... will you go home, please? Can you see tonight I'm a busy? Well, Pasquale, maybe... Maybe I can stay here and help you a little bit tonight. Huh? Look, here, I'm going to move this table over for you. Luigi, if you don't go home now, I'm going to count till a ten and kill you by seven. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm sorry. I go now. Was it just that I was, I was a feeling lonesome and, and I was just to feel like I um, want to talk. Talk? There's only one subject I'm interested to talk about. I'm willing to talk about that subject. It ain't a politics, a money, or moon pictures. 
Russia. Hoo-hoo, how you hit that jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pasquale, come on, let's talk. You sure you want to talk about a rosa? Sure, I'm sure. Luigi, let me feel your hair. You must be sick. No, 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 I'm not. Ah, you're just a teasing me. I suppose you could have told me how fat she is. No, 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 I'm a bit of thinking. Fat the skinny is all the same. Is it the personality? That's what accounts counts with a good. Hmm. You look like a Luigi. You act like a Luigi. You sound like a Luigi. Would you, would you put them all together tonight as it come out of Xavier Cougats? <laughs> Well, what's the difference, Pasquale? I'm, I'm feeling very lonesome, and I, I'm a think maybe tonight I could take a rose for a walk in a park or something. Huh? Ooh, that's wonderful, Luigi! Look, Rose is in the kitchen. Why don't you go in yourself and ask her? All right, I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> I scare you? No, I like mice. <laughs> is, uh, is a nice uh, night uh, tonight, uh, I don't say. I don't know. Should I go outside and look? No, 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 stay. Arosa, how you would like we should go for a walk in the park? Huh? Just to me and you. Oh, I'd love to, Luigi. Good. But not tonight. The butcher's son, Harold, is taking me to a midnight show. Oh. I gotta go, Luigi. You know, business. Harold's father gives Papa the best cuts of meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, best. Uh, well, all right. Uh, thank you, Rosa. Well, how you make out a little banana nose? <laughs> no good. Rosa, she's got a date for tonight. Oh, yes, Harold. Well, Luigi, that's a business. Yeah, I know, I know. Best the cuts of a meat. Well, don't get so sarcastic. <laughs> After all, it's only tit for tat. You turn me down so many times. All right, all right, Pasquale. So what, Luigi? There's plenty of fish in the lake. You want another girl? Yeah, how? Go jump in the lake. <laughs> Good night, Luigi. Be happy. <laughs> Good night, Pasquale. I'm happy. Ha <laughs> ha. Before we return to Life with Luigi, we'd like to mention that refreshing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is an ideal treat for your whole family to enjoy. You can give it to youngsters between meals without worrying about spoiling their appetite. And you can enjoy it often every day yourself, because it's never rich or heavy. Remember, too, chewing Wrigley's Spearmint is good for your teeth and aids digestion. So for a long-lasting taste treat and a healthful chewing treat all combined into one, Get a few packages of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum next time you go shopping. Wrigley's Spearmint. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. That the night, the Mamma Mia, I'm going to try to go to sleep early, but I'm going to couldn't sleep was a big emptiness inside of me. Like when are you hungry? Only the emptiness was not in the stomach. Was upstairs a little bit. <laughs> I was so anxious to hear friendly voice, I'm gonna get on the telephone. And I'm gonna call up for the right time. Beautiful voice is to say, is it now 12.30? Is it now 12.30 in the 10 seconds? It's an hour 12 or 30 and 20 seconds. Then I'm going to start to talk to her. But if she's a keeper right on the talk and I'll listen to me. This is making me very lonesome, so I'm going to get out of bed. I'm going to get out of bed, dress myself, and I'm going to start to walk in the fresh air. Ah, 
That's a little better. Hundred of people. Hundred of strangers. That's to make a one a party. Hey, uh, get your paper, get your paper. Here, troops shut off. Mama me, I know how they feel. Maybe I'm going to talk to the newsman. He's all by himself. Hey, mister. Paper, bud? Yeah. Is a lot of troops to shut off? It's all in the paper, mister. How about it? How about the what? Then? Come on, Jack. I got no time to stand around and talk. Time costs money. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stand it. Here, give me a paper. Hey, you give me only a nickel. I get two more cents. Well, mommy, and now is a sales attack on a news of peppers. <laughs> All right, uh, here. You think maybe the Hey, troops... uh, get your paper here, paper here. Hmm. Time will cost some money. Got a light, Mac? No, but That's if you harsh. go with me, I'll take you to my antique shop. I'm going to get lots of matches. I'm a... Huh? He's a keeper right on the move, it? Maybe I'm going to try somebody else. Hey, hey, bud. Huh? You got a light, uh... Sure. Well? Well, what? What do you want to do with it? Start a fire? Oh, no, I'm going to want to start a fire. Well, where's your cigarette? Oh, I'm going to smoke. Well, what do you want a light for? Well, I'm a... Uh, I'm a just the one to talk. Oh, I get it. And you want a light so you can't see who you're talking to. <laughs> yes, get out I... of here. Huh? Mama mia, this guy, he's no like me. Well, I'm gonna find somebody to talk to. Oh, there's somebody. There's a look like he's in trouble. Hey, mister, you have an accident? Accident? What accident? <laughs> Why are you laying under the lamp post? It's a free country. I can lay anywhere I want. <laughs> Yeah, sure, sure, that's right. I'm agree with you. He's a great, a big, wonderful country oh, that's... Oh, all right, it's strong. Hey, hey, uh, help me up with it. Well, uh, sure, I'm uh, going to help, help you. Up, sure. Yeah. Come on. <coughs> there. Now, now, now you can walk. Yeah, so long. Huh? I'll try it again. <coughs> How can I get through? That's three lampposts. <laughs> we pay taxes. Huh? And how does the city spend the money? Three lampposts in one spot. Hmm? I'm going to get even. I'm going to get married and have 50 kids. Let the government pay me taxes. Yeah, well, well I'm agree with you, except, uh, except about the taxes. Yeah, all right. Cut it, bud, huh? Let's get a little drink, huh? A little drink? drink? Yeah. You want a drink? Yeah. Well, sure. I need sure. A... Hey, look. Look, we got a drink right over there. Yeah? Where? Where? There. Where? where? It's a water fountain. <laughs> a water fountain? Oh, no, no. Mamma mia. I'm a dinner ticket. He could run it so fast. It's just so quiet in the nighttime. Even the streets, they look sad. <laughs> Watch where you're going. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> here, here, come on. Come on, and let me help you cross. Thank you, friend. May you never know what it is to be lonely. When I first came over... I would gladly ask you, Luigi, but tonight... We'll be painting the apartment. Join a social group or dancing club? It's business. Time cuts me. <laughs> Go jump in the lake. Time costs money. Get, Get out of here. Twenty beautiful girls, twenty the loveliest little dancing partners in Chicago, and it's only ten cents a dance. Huh? That's right. Twenty beautiful girls waiting to dance with you. What the... With me? That's right. Oh, Mamma mia, how they know I'm lonely? They can see you coming. No. I'll go right in there and your troubles are over. Oh, thank you, thank you. Are you real a friend? Hey, wait a minute, neighbor. It's ten cents a day. Ten what? The... Here. No, but but I'm I'm only got the one dollar bill. Okay, here's ten tickets. Just hand the girl a ticket for the dance. Right in there, son. Hey, Dad. Hey, how about a dance? How about a dance? 
Mamma mia. What a minute ago, nobody has talked to me. All of a sudden, I'm a popular. Hey, smoothie. Huh? How about a dance? The music's just starting. That's a smoothie, huh? <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, here's my ticket. Good. I'll hold them all. All right. <laughs> That's one dance. <laughs> That's uh, the dance? Uh-huh. Must be some music I'm not here. Here we go again. All Come right, on, uh, hold me. <laughs> Say, honey, huh? you dance beautiful. How you gonna tell? <laughs> Say, in the next one, let's do a two-step, huh? <laughs> you must be joking. There's only enough of music for one step. <laughs> Please, if you don't mind, I'm going to take back my tickets. What's the matter? Don't you want to dance no more? No. Two dances is enough for three is making me dizzy. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we can sit down and talk. Talk? You said a talk? Sure, I'm, I'm gonna like it to talk. Fine, then I'll hold the tickets. It's a dollar a half hour. To talk? Yeah. How much does it cost if we just to sit together and keep it quiet? <laughs> hey, what are you, a wise guy? Dance, dance, mister? Mamma mia. I'm a wonder if she's a carrier meter, dollar and a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like I'm a just to been introduced to a taxi? Hello. Hello, and here's the ticket. Oh, you don't have to give me a ticket. I don't? I? Huh? <laughs> You've never been here before, have you? You're going to tell her by the way I'm a dance, huh? <laughs> no, come on, let's sit down. Oh, thank you. Here. No, no, I don't want your ticket. We close soon, and you can get your money back then. Oh, thanks. You know something? I don't care if you do take them. In the morning, we dance the whole night through. Excuse me, Anne. I think you watch as slow as at 3 30. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way the song goes. Three o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's da nice. Da -da -da it's a three o'clock in the morning. We All dance night the whole night around. through. That's good. Keep it up. <laughs> three o'clock in, in the morning. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> That's nice. Hey, I like it. You that. know, we sound great together. Yeah, I didn't know I'm a good singer so good. <laughs> you know, it's my favorite song. I sing it every night when I go home. Every night. Mm. Three o'clock. That's so late, huh? Oh, how late. And how lonely. You lonely too? Who isn't? How'd you like to be a policeman at three in the morning? The milkman going to sleep when everybody's getting up. And you ever hear those disc jockeys? Hello, Mabel. Hi, you Jack. This number's for you. Boy, they must be the loneliest people in the world. Yes, so many people. They all are lonely. Chicago's a lonely town. It's three o'clock in the it's morning. Three o'clock in the morning. It's We've the danced the, the whole night Schultz, it's a four in the morning to call the police station again. Pasquale, I already called them a dozen times. We don't want the FBI in on this, you know. They should have <laughs> some void by now. Pasquale, did, did you do anything to Luigi or say anything to chase him away? No, I just told him to go jump in a lake. <laughs> that all? How was I know he was going to do it? <laughs> Oh, I was awful mean to him. I chased him out of the store and he wanted to help. Ach, I should have invited him to come home with me. Poor Luigi. He was feeling bad in school today. We all knew it and we didn't do nothing about it. Oh, I got a feeling he's a dead now. What I wouldn't have given to see that little cabbage a push with those two watermelon seeds of her eyes. <laughs> I would have given... 
Luigi. Luigi, my yeah, son. On, I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, no, hey, hey, Pascale, stop. Why are you kissing me? Luigi, we was going crazy trying to find you. Sixteen times I called up in the hospital, and every time they told me you wasn't carried in on a stretcher, I was heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, where did you disappear to? I, I just went for a walk. Till four o'clock in the morning? Where did you walk to, Milwaukee? <laughs> oh, Luigi, you disappointed me. I thought for sure you was a dead. Oh, no, no, I wasn't a dead. I've been walking around the city, talked with a newspaper man, a fella on the lamppost, and I'm a danced with a beautiful girl. Then I'm a took her home. Luigi, here's a dollar. Dollar what the fuck? Next time you take the tour, I'm going with you. <laughs> What's so funny? Luigi should be ashamed of yourself. While I'm sitting here going crazy, you running all over town enjoying your loneliness. Pasquale, I'm sorry. Sorry? You know Rosa had a date. You knew I was going to be alone. So why you left me all by myself when you know how much I hate my own company? <laughs> That's the trick, Pasquale. To learn how to be alone. Chicago. That's a wonderful, lonely town. Good night. I'm going to. Good night, Luigi. Your good night. Eh? I'll see you all tomorrow. Well, back to bed for me. Good night. Himmel, what happened? We called the police, the hospital. He's sorry he didn't jump in the lake. I'm out of bed. Luigi's talking in circles. One thing I'm sure of. Chicago is a for Schimmel town. <laughs> and so, Mamma Mia, my letter to you is finished. It's a lovely night now. And I'm a think I'm a take a walk. No, it's, it's not that I'm a lonely. It's a just that I was in a four houses tonight. Pasquale, Schultz, Horowitz, and Olsen. And I'm a had a dinner in each, and if I'm a don't take a walk, I'm a gonna bust. <laughs> You're loving the son of Luigi Basco, little immigrant. Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint is just about the perfect taste treat to enjoy between your meals. During the morning or afternoon, when you get a little hankering for something tasty, slip a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum into your mouth. Chew on it and get the full enjoyment of that refreshing, delicious, real mint flavor. You'll enjoy the chewing itself, too. That little stick of gum will satisfy you without spoiling your appetite for lunch or supper. Try it, won't you? Keep some Wrigley Spearmint Gum handy to enjoy between your meals. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is produced and directed by Cy Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Derman. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Music directed by Lud Gluskin. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>